Happiness Equation is a book that will change how you think about everything, your time, your career, your relationships, your family, and ultimately, of course, your happiness. Please welcome the Pied Piper of all things awesome and now happy, Neil Pazricha, best-selling author. <laughs> You've done it again with this one. We're all on that universal quest. How did you go from the Book of Awesome, which did so well, yeah. to this? Because Book of Awesome stemmed from a dark time in your life. It did. And then uh, my wife told me she was pregnant on the flight home from our honeymoon. And when I landed home in Toronto, I, I said the same thing as a lot of parents do, which is I want my child to be happy. Yeah. And so I couldn't find an action book, like a manual, you know, on how you actually get there. So I started writing a 300-page Word document as a letter to my unborn child. And that letter is out now as the happiness equation. It really is the letter I wrote to my son. I was reading it this week, and the thing I love, it's really digestible chapters. So you say, you actually encourage people Read it in different places. Yeah. How come? Well, because your brain is stimulated by different atmospheres and environments. If you crank it all out on one flight, that's great. But if you take it with you to the park, if you have it in your bag, some people have written on, on reviews online, you know, indigo.ca saying, I'm going to take it with me to the bathroom. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, everyone's got a different place, and different places and times can provoke different thoughts and different reactions. Sensory memories, right? Yeah. So one thing that you do is you, you talk about this equation, and oftentimes we say, study hard, Plus, get good grades mm -hmm. equals happiness. Yeah. You believe we should start with happiness, and it's like, what? How? <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. Everyone goes, grows up thinking that, right? It's true. You know, my parents are immigrants. They said, you know, study hard, get good grades, be happy, work really hard, get promoted, be happy. But if you actually be happy first, if you choose to be happy, then you do great work. You're more productive, you're more creative, and then you have the big success later. So you're asking me, how do you be happy first? Yeah. There's a whole bunch of exercises that are proven to work. You can journal for 20 minutes at the end of the day about one positive thing you had happen that day. You can go in a brisk 20 minute walk. You can write down five gratitudes. You can close your eyes and meditate for a few minutes. Little simple things like that are proven to spend just 20 minutes a day and increase your happiness over yes, time. You talk about that, the habits, the, the habit forming. Exactly. So if it's seven straight days, I just did it. I walked 20 minutes a day for seven straight days. I can do it another seven. Exactly. All of a sudden, you've built this really good habit. Because you know what, Tina? Everyone thinks motivation causes action. Actually, what we found is that action causes motivation. Yeah. There's a principle in here on how I couldn't learn. I didn't know how to swim. You know, eventually, when I just forced myself to sign up, I think I can, and then I want to do it. It's the same with any fear you have in your life. Yeah, and you say that 10%, talk about when you talk about 10% is what's given to us versus yep. how we see the world. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of flexibility yeah, there. People always say, well, what if I can't be happy? I'm just not. Now what? And the truth of the matter is the science suggests that only 10% of our happiness is based on our circumstances. More than four times greater than that is a result of our intentional activities. Meaning, no matter who wins the U.S. election, you can actually control your happiness more by going on a walk, having a good dinner with your family, writing down five graduates, or going around the table and just saying, hey, what was the highlight of everybody's day? Yeah. As simple as that. And you mentioned also a chapter about the blue zones and centennials and yeah. studying, you know, how are these people living to be 100, 101, 102? It's something called Ikigai. What yeah. is Ikigai? Well, the dream we all have that is completely wrong is retirement. We all want to retire, but truthfully, it's a totally backwards concept. The healthiest societies in the world, like those of Okinawa in Japan, have no word for retirement at all. Instead, they have a word called Ikigai, I-K-I-G-A-I, -I, which means the reason you get up in the morning. You know, what is your purpose. If you don't know where you're going, you won't know how to get there. A big source of our happiness is our work, and work gives us so much. It gives us social structure, stimulation, and story, and as a result, we become richer and we feel happier. So many incredible tips, and I know you are now committing your life to all things happiness. You've created yeah. your own institute. The Institute for Global Happiness, working to increase happiness in organizations. We found that the place people spend most of our time at work is a lot, also a big place where people can improve their happiness around the world. It's so. true. I mean, yeah. I'm lucky enough to have my passion be my yeah. job, but listen, I had the crappy jobs where you had to do it because you had to do it. A lot of people have no choice and they hate yeah. their work life. How do you get happiness if you feel like you have no choice but to do what you're doing right now? Well, you have to think about, do I have friends at work? Am I getting social fulfillment? Do I have stimulation? Am I always learning something new? And do I believe in the story? Do I believe in the big picture mission of the place I'm at? You have to have those things in order to feel happy doing it. Yeah, and you can make change bit by bit, even if you're stuck yep. in that situation now, to get out of it. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank oh my you. gosh, you Thank do you. make us so Thank happy you. with you, everything Peter. that you do. For a link to purchase this, the happiness equipment, Go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Reminders we all need in our lives to find happiness. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Thank you.